Hello everyone, Chemistry Masters welcomes you again in this new video. From this video onwards, we are going to start a new series on pericyclic reactions. So this particular topic is very much important for BSc and MSc level classes as well as this particular topic is much asked in various competitive examination. So hope these videos which we are bringing to you that will be helping you to gain good marks as well as they will be helping you to secure good ranks in competitive examinations also. So in this first lecture we are going to give you just the introduction of this particular topic. So now let us discuss about the pericyclic reaction. So here we will be taking a simple example to understand that what are the basic concept of pericyclic reaction. So this reaction which is in front of you it shows that a particular reaction can take place in presence of light or maybe it can also take place in presence of heat or you can call them as the photochemical reaction or thermal reaction. So this is a general example out here where you can see one of the reactant is getting changed to the product. So now if you talk about the general concept of pericyclic reaction, so these are the reaction is considered to be a concerted reaction. Concerted reaction means the bond breakage as well as the bond formation will take place simultaneously. It means that the bond breakage will happen along with the formation of the bond. Uh, means there will be no formation of charge in this particular reaction. The second important factor about this pericyclic reaction is that there are single step cyclic shifting of the reaction. Means the electrons which are present out here they will be moving in cyclic system okay like i am showing here so they will be moving in a particular cyclic movement and this cyclic movement will be in a same direction only whether in the direction which i have shown earlier or whether in the direction which i am showing now but the direction will be always same whether all the bond will break clockwise or whether all the bond will break anti-clockwise. The third point says that there is no intermediate form in this reaction but yes a cyclic transition state is always present which helps the reactant to get changed into product. Another point says that yes which we have discussed earlier also that reaction can go in presence of heat which is also known as thermal condition. The reaction can also go in presence of light which can be called as the photochemical reaction. And in both these thermal and photochemical reaction, the product are found to be somewhat different. And these products are stereo specific in nature. That we will discuss in our coming lectures. Now these pericyclic reactions are of different type. They could be cyclic addition reaction, electrocyclic reaction, sigma tropic reaction group transfer reaction or chiliotropic reaction okay so these will be discussed one by one here and in detail in our coming lectures also so let us discuss about the electrocyclic reaction at the initial so electrocyclic reaction as the name suggests in this reaction there is cyclic movement of electrons so the first point here is that this pericyclic reaction is intramolecular reaction. Intramolecular reaction means there will be shifting of electron in one molecule only or you can say there will be presence of a single molecule and inside that the particular reaction will take place. Second thing is very much important and that is a new sigma bond is generated in expense of pi bond means one sigma bond will be generated and one sigma bond will be lost in this particular reaction. The third point is very much important here is that in few specific cases and mostly apart from ring closing, ring opening reaction is also object. So let us take a general example of the same so which we have seen earlier also. So if you talk about this particular reaction we already have said that the pericyclic reaction can take place in presence of light and heat. So the reaction, so the reaction can take place by the movement of electrons 
in cyclic manner and that cyclic manner could be uh, it could be clockwise or anti clockwise okay and it could be like this so when these bonds are broken what happens some new bonds are generated and in the product what will happen one pi bond will decrease so here you can see that there are three pi bonds and one two three four five sigma bonds while if you talk about the product there are only two pi bonds while the sigma bond increases to six so you can see the second point happens here that new sigma bond is formed and older pi bond get lost from there Similarly, let us discuss about the second type of pericyclic reaction and that is cycloaddition reaction. So if you talk about cycloaddition reaction, it, again the name itself says that there will be addition of species and a cyclic product will be generated. So if you talk about the basic concept of this one, so this particular reaction or pericyclic reaction is intermolecular means generally in most of the cases there will be involvement of two different species so that we will discuss in our example also the second point says that there is formation of two sigma bonds in expense of two pi bond means two pi bond will be lost and two new sigma bond will be formed and here also the ring opening reaction apart from the ring closing reaction can be observed. So this example shows out here that how this reaction will take place. Again, the first thing which should be remembered to you, there will be cyclic movement of electron and the cyclic movement always would be in same direction, means whether clockwise or anti-clockwise. So if you talk about the movement, so if we show it like this, so it will be always shown in this fashion means the direction will be same. So here you can see the direction is like this and clockwise. It could be clockwise also. And after that, what will happen in presence of light or heat, the product will be obtained to you. And here the blue color shows that the new bond which are formed. So if you talk about the number of pi bonds, so in this particular reactant, in these two reactant, so there are overall three pi bonds and one, two, three, four, sigma bonds while if you talk about the product there are there is only one pi bond and the sigma bond you can see they have increased from four to six sigma bond one two three four five six the blue color bond shows that these are newly formed bond so here the second point get in play that two new sigma bond will be formed and two older pi bond will be lost. Now talking about the third type of pericyclic reaction that is sigma tropic rearrangement. In this generally what happened a sigma bond generally breaks and it moves in the molecule itself. So if you talk about this particular reaction this is a rearrangement reaction means there will be movement of a particular species from one point to the another point and generally there is involvement of only one molecule from one site to the another site the species will move the species could be any atom or it could be any molecule now another point which is related to here is it is unimolecular isomerization reaction means isomer forms and a unimolecular reaction is there means in the kinetic step there will be one molecule only which will be determining the rate of reaction apart from this this point we already have discussed there will be movement of species maybe atom or maybe molecule from one position to another position but always remember that it would be in only one molecule there will be no involvement of any other molecule rearrangement of pi electrons or rearrangement of pi bonds and it take place in this and generally it has been seen that the molecule which are having conjugation in them sigma tropic rearrangement are observed. Another point again it is very much important that there is 
no change in the number of sigma and pi bond. If you talk about the earlier two pericyclic reaction that is electrocyclic and cycloaddition reaction, we have seen that there is change in number of sigma as well as pi bond before the reaction, after the reaction. So here there will be no change and this reaction generally shows that how the sigma tropic rearrangement take place. So a general reaction which we have shown. So if you see this molecule, there is a double bond, then a single bond, then a particular molecule is present out here. So in this particular example, you can see we are having unsaturation, we are having sigma bonds also. And after the particular rearrangement, this product is observed to us where the blue bonds shows that these are newly formed bonds. Now, how does this rearrangement take place? So, actually in these particular sigma tropic rearrangement, we have to provide the number to the molecules. Okay. So, generally like this, if you talk about this will be first, this will be second, this will be third. And here you can see the bond is breaking at this side. Well, earlier there was a bond. Now there is no bond. That means you will be numbering it from here at this particular condition. Now, after this particular step, again, there will be breakage of bond and in a specific direction. Okay. Let us, they will be in this mode and these bond will break. So as soon as the bond will break, it can be shown like this that older bonds are being broken and newer bond that is the blue bonds they are being generated to give you this structure now if you see a bond between third and third carbon is being formed here that's why this type of sigma tropic rearrangement can be called as 3 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement so the detail of this sigma tropic rearrangement we will be discussing it again in our coming lectures the another type of pericyclic reaction is group transfer reaction so the group transfer reaction is somewhat like sigma tropic rearrangement, but as we have discussed in sigma tropic rearrangement, there was involvement of only one molecule in which the movement of a particular species take place from one side to the another side. But in group transfer rearrangement, as the example shows here, the group which is getting migrate, it migrates from one molecule to the another molecule and these both molecules, they get joined to form a single product as you can see here. So in this particular reaction, as we can see, this movement could be again in a cyclic manner, but yes, in a particular direction. So it could be like this. So what will happen? This double bond will break. This double bond will break out here and this hydrogen will be shifted to this position to this position out here in this carbon. So if you talk about the basic concept of this particular reaction, it says that generally one or more group of atom can be transferred from one to the another molecule, which we already have discussed that there will be involvement of two molecules and group. It could be any atom or maybe any molecule. It will be transferred from one species to the another species. And after the reaction, there will be presence of only one product. The second point says that a new sigma bond is generated between these two molecules. So we already have discussed this point also and this particular reaction that is also discussed by us that it resembles sigma tropic rearrangement, but there is a particular difference and that difference is in the number of molecules which are undergoing the reaction. In sigma tropic rearrangement, if you take the example, there we have said that there will be presence of only one molecule while here there are two molecules between which the group is being transferred from one side to the another one. So the last type of rearrangement here will be chiliotropic rearrangement which is also known as chiliotropic rearrangement or reaction. So the another name is also there. So that should be remembered to us. So if you talk about this particular rearrangement, it is generally considered to be a, another type of cycloaddition reaction, or you can say it could be considered as a subclass of cycloaddition reaction. So if you talk about the cycloaddition reaction out here, we have seen that there, there is presence of two molecules and 
intermolecular pericyclic reaction take place and here you can see both of the species are present with pi bonds but if you talk about chiliotropic rearrangement so one of the species will be having two double bonds or the two pi system while another species will be having you can say lone pair of electrons or you can say that could be having electron donating system with them so that the reaction could be going in the forward direction so if you talk about this chelotropic rearrangement another point which is there which is very much important that two new sigma bonds are formed or they can be broken over the same molecule okay so one of the example which we can take out here is somewhat like this that it, if you resemble it with um, cycloaddition reaction so it is same in spite of having a double bond out here we are having an electron donating system or you can say a lone pair of electron containing species like so2 or maybe any other species could be there so again the bond breakage will be in a particular direction like this so that there will be formation of a product which resemble the cycloaddition product means the number of sigma bond will increase by 2 and the number of pi bond will be decreasing by 2 but yes we are having lone pair of electron out here so that lone pair of electron can be considered as a pi bond or equivalent to the pi bond if you compare it with the cycloaddition reaction so these are some of the basic reaction which we have understood so their whole detail will be discussed with you in our coming lectures with all the examples and more and more concepts so that these will be helping in your regular classes in your examination as well as in your competitive examination so be with us we will be happy to discuss with you and we will be much happier if you are bringing some question to us you can mail us you can whatsapp us on the number given in our description and if you find any problem we are always here to help you so thank you for listening and do subscribe our channel share the video with your colleagues thank you